What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here. And this video is a long awaited for a video that will show you how to fix your battery drainage issues after updating to 6.15.00 baseband and using UltraSnow 1.2 to unlock your device. So basically what happens is UltraSnow keeps looking or your iPhone keeps looking for push certifications through Wi-Fi or through your cellular data network even when in standby mode which causes these horrible battery drainage issues and the only way to fix them is to activate legitly using an AT&T SIM card and I understand not many of you guys have this AT&T SIM card that's why you're unlocking and this video will show you how to activate it using a legit SIM card replacement called SAM now I'll explain later guys and this works for the 3GS and 3G and you know if you have 6.15.00 baseband and I guess you'll know if you installed Ultra Snow as well but you can go into settings general about scroll down you'll see the 6.15 baseband but here we go guys this will show you how to fix these issues and this video took me a little bit guys to release because I was having a lot of problems but I'll show you the workaround and how to get it working guys and for the iPod touch there should really be no reason why you're watching this video because this is a iPhone 3GS and iPhone 3G only fix and the iPhone 4 does not have this problem of course guys you will need to be jailbroken on 4.1 or 4.2.1 firmware so you will need Cydia and if you don't have that you must watch this video right here which is a jailbreak video that will show you how to jailbreak it and you must jailbreak before proceeding now what we will be doing basically is deactivating our iPhone in Red Snow and then using a program called SAM subscriber artificial module to replicate a SIM card in our iPhone to trick iTunes into thinking we're actually activating legitly but so to begin what we will be doing is opening up Cydia and adding a source so going to manage sources edit add and we are adding this source right here repo dot bing -ner dot com and it will look just like this repo dot bing -ner dot com b i n g n e r but you'll add that source and once it's reloaded you can just click on it and you'll install sam first it'll ask you to respring you'll go back to Cydia and install sam prefs and that will ask you to respring as well so once you have those two installed that's it on your iPhone you can put that aside and we're heading over to the computer right now okay so we're back on our computer and once you've got the files that I asked you to download on your desktop you will right click red snow and click run as administrator and here we will browse for the firmware of your device and we'll click next and it's just gonna patch real quick and in the meantime you guys can just turn your iPhone off and once we are here unclick everything because we are not going to be re jailbreaking all we are doing is deactivating our iPhone in order to activate it legitly and this will go through the entire process of jailbreaking guys I know it does take a little bit but please be patient in the end the rewards are greater <laughs> but once your device is off we will be putting it into DFU mode so we're gonna begin by pressing the power button and then the home button together then letting go of the power button and just holding the home button so I'll guide you through it and we will click next and get ready to press the power button so three two one hold the home button together nine eight seven six five four three two one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button until red snow recognizes your device now we are going through the process of jailbreaking guys it won't take long so please be patient but I'll be back as soon as the jailbreak has progressed and for those of you that get stuck on uploading RAM disk soon I will upload a video and I'll put a link in the video right there that'll take you to that video that'll show you how to fix uploading RAM disk and other red snow errors so check that out anyone that's having problems but in a second I'll be right back once your iPhone is back up and running make sure to unplug it right away and 
you can go ahead and slide to unlock and go into settings here we're going to scroll down where you will find an extra tab called SAM and we will be deactivating it so you must make sure it's not connected because iTunes will mess it up so just click deactivate and that's it we can, we can go back to the springboard and now make sure iTunes is opened and go ahead and plug in your iPhone and if all goes right it will activate it and it is working and there you go it has activated your iPhone guys it's as simple as that now this is a very problematic thing guys if it doesn't work if iTunes just keeps loading what you will do is you'll scroll down and go into SAM and you'll deactivate it again but then you will go into method and you'll go by bundle name and you'll select AT&T down here or whatever the legit legit sim card is in your country and that's it guys it's as simple as that I really hope this worked for you in the end you should be rid of all battery problems on your device and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching guys